everyone, welcome to another book review Wednesday and today I'm going to be briefly diving into the book To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Uh, I briefly touched upon the, the film a while back um, and I thought it would be interesting to dive a little bit into more of what the book uh, discusses, which is fairly similar to the film. Uh, they seem to try to hone in on similar uh, ideas and concepts, uh, but Basically, uh, not only is this considered one of Harper Lee's best, but it's considered one of those very famous books that a lot of uh, English teachers like to give out to their students to read. And I think this is for good reason. Um, basically, the book takes place in Maycomb, Alabama, uh, where it follows the uh, family... Uh, a dad named Atticus and his kids, Scout and Jem. Um, Scout being a girl and Jem being a boy. And basically, uh, the dad is a lawyer and he has to end up defending a black man named Tom Robinson who has been accused of raping a woman. Um, and as a result of Atticus having to defend this man, uh, he gets kind of a bad rap uh, around the town, and this sort of, again, ends up impacting his kids, um, and you'll sort of see that at, uh, what ends up happening as a result of that, uh, if you choose to read the book, but basically, um, this really does show you the sort of kind of sentiments and kinds of uh, attitudes people sort of had during the time period, and um, how uh, Harper Lee was trying to hone in on the idea that truth is really ultimately what matters and not sort of a bias of an opinion onto something. Um, so I, I think that's really what he was focusing on and what he was trying to kind of ultimately express throughout the book. And uh, you sort of see how the bond of the family is very strong and also there is this sort of appeal to childhood uh, because part of the book focuses on the sort of misadventures of uh, the kids, Scout and Jem, and uh, how they end up uh, sort of running into their neighbor, Boo Radley, eventually. And you'll sort of see how Boo Radley kind of comes into play throughout the story if you choose to read the book. Um, and it's quite uh, fascinating how it approaches uh, certain ideas and concepts and how it kind of tries to break down sort of these prejudice barriers and whatnot. And um, it's uh, interesting to see its overall presentation and how it tries to, again, focus on uh, this kind of family uh, environment and how uh, one particular family member's job ends up affecting the whole family, and um, and it, it's really uh, something that I think uh, kids can enjoy as well as adults. Um, although I think it is more among the reading level of like middle schoolers. I don't think I got to this book until high school, so. Um, it kind of, I guess, depends as far as to where kind of, I guess, your reading level is at, but um, it is uh, kind of straightforward and easy to understand, but then also brings out a lot of uh, interesting ideas that you can sort of uh, formulate on your own as far as to what's ultimately kind of being presented and what messages are uh are being kind of utilized or at least what they're trying to get across to the audience. Um, and I think as far as American literature, this is considered one of the more famous works as well. So I think it's really important to uh, notice the kind of cultural context, again, considering the fact that it does take place in the in the South during, uh, uh, during uh, an older period of time. Um, I'm not exactly sure uh, if it says exactly when the story takes place. Um, 
but uh, from my understanding, it is relatively old. Um, and uh, again, it's been held as sort of to that kind of classic standard as far as literature. But I think that's really all I can say about it. I mean, there's really not much more to kind of go over. Um, you know, the the way in which the film presents the story is well executed. And obviously the book deserves its credit for sort of bringing forth the, the whole concept and uh, the ideas behind the story. But I think that's really ultimately all I can say though about this book. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a pleasant day with my video and I hope to see you all next video. Take care. Bye bye.